Hi, I'm Ralph with MSI Supply, and I'm here to talk to you folks about ball valves. Uh, the two types I'm going to talk about today are floating ball valves and trunnion ball valves. Uh, MSI Supply supports the uh, petrochemical industry and the petrochemical industry uses a lot of these valves so we wanted to kind of explain to you what we do and what they are. Uh, floaters for one thing are, are inexpensive and durable. They're a quarter turn valve, in other words you turn the handle one quarter of a turn and it will be off or on. This valve is off and the reason I know that is these this handle does not line up with the valve like this handle does. That would show me if I was walking down a line of valves that, hey, these are on or off, or one of them's on or off and it shouldn't be. Uh, they are made for on and off functions only. Throttling is not done with them unless they have a special port, which is a V port and uh, we really don't deal with those, but I just had to mention it. This is a floating ball valve, so what that means is the ball is free to move when closed up against the seats, the downstream seats, and affect a good seal. It doesn't move much, just enough to affect that. Uh, the body materials of these valves can go from brass for the low uh, low pressure valves to WCB, A105, ductile iron, low temp, stainless, on up, aluminum, titanium. The ends can be threaded, socket weld, socket weld by threaded, flanged as this valve, raised faced, RTJ, butt weld and tube end valves are common too. Uh, ports on these valves can be reduced full and as I said double uh, double reduction and a v-port. The soft goods which are the uh, actual sealing surfaces against the ball are or can be Teflon, reinforced Teflon which is Teflon with 15 percent fiberglass for strength, TFM peak Delrin metal usually good for 400 to 500 degrees. Uh, the ball and stem can be brass, carbon steel with ENP, stainless. The pressure on these valves can be 150 pounds all the way up to 10 to 20,000 PSI. Actuation, uh, you usually lever, can be a, a round handle or an oval handle, and then they can be remotely actuated with uh, hydraulics or electricity. What we need when you folks want to order these valves is a size, a pressure, what type of ends you want, the type of port, the body material, what soft goods you want inside, and uh, possibly the, the ball and stem material. Do you need them actuated or will a lever or oval handle do? And the temperature would be greatly, greatly helpful. So that's basically it for floaters. Uh, we thank you, we would appreciate calls and we'll work hard for you to get you the kind of valves that you need. Thank you.